HBO has just put out a teaser trailer for Game of Thrones Season 7 called Sigils. The video touches on some important plot points and conflicts from the story so far, while hinting at the broader themes we'll see in the seasons to come. It begins with a three-headed dragon, the sigil of House Targaryen, the family of Daenerys. We hear Danny talk about her father, the Mad King Aerys, who was notoriously crazy and cruel. One of the central conflicts in Daenerys' character is the tension between her trying to be a peaceful and compassionate ruler, while also having a need for violence and vengeance, fire and blood. Some fans worry she's becoming like her father. We then see a stag, sigil of House Baratheon, fighting the Targaryen dragon. This represents Robert's rebellion, the war twenty years ago where Robert Baratheon defeated Aerys Targaryen and became the king of Westeros. We hear Robert say that he'll kill every Targaryen he gets his hands on, he hates them, partly because Danny's brother, Prince Rhaegar Targaryen, ran off with the woman Robert loved, Lyanna Stark, who we saw in season six giving birth to Jon Snow. We might find out more about Jon's parents in this next season. We then see a lion, sigil of House Lannister, savaging a stag. This represents the death of King Robert, which was brought about by Cersei and Lancel Lannister. Also, remember that Robert's brothers Renly and Stannis Baratheon were a thing for a while, until Stannis was killed by Brienne and Renly killed by a shadowy vagina monster. So it's been a rough couple of years for the Baratheon family, though Robert's bastard Gendry is still out there. We see the head of a direwolf, sigil of House Stark, and hear King Joffrey ordering the execution of Lord Eddard. Things only get worse for the Starks from there, with the deaths of Rob and Catelyn at the Red Wedding, and the loss of Winterfell, to Ironborn then to Boltons. In the books, there's a huge complex conspiracy to return the Starks to power, go watch that video, but in the show, Jon and Sansa take back the North in a battle with the Boltons. Bran Stark, meanwhile, has become a psychic tree boy, Arya Stark has become a face-changing fray-slaying ninja assassin, and Rickon Stark has become a pincushion. We see the tentacles of the Kraken of House Greyjoy. King Balon Greyjoy tried to make the Iron Islands great again, but he was kind of an idiot and failed, ended up killed by his brother Euron, who now leads the Ironborn towards Danny, though Balon's kids Yara and Theon get there first. Euron is a seriously scary dude in the books, and there's no doubt he'll be a major bad guy in Season 7 of Game of Thrones. We then see a bear, sigil of House Mormont, which is kind of odd, because the Mormonts aren't a major house. They're the family of Lyanna, Mage, Jor, and Jorah. Jorah, of course, has that disease, Grayscale, and is currently out looking for a cure. Funnily enough, Sam Tully has just arrived at the Citadel, the sort of the University of Westeros. If anyone can heal Jorah, that's where they'd be. We see a lion's paw tangled in the thorny growths of a rose, sigil of House Tyrell. The Tyrells were involved in many plots to gain power over the Lannisters, but ultimately couldn't scheme their way out of being blown up by Cersei. Elena still lives, though, and she joins an alliance with the Sand Snakes of Dawn and Varys and Daenerys to fight against Cersei, who crowns herself Queen of Westeros beside her cronies Kyburn and the Zombie Mountain. There's a nice irony here in Kyburn proclaiming Cersei protector of the Seven Kingdoms, when she's done far more damage than good to the realm. Cersei's brother and lover Jaime might finally question his relationship with her, and meanwhile the other brother Tyrion is on board with Danny. We then get this wide, sweeping view of the whole complex political clusterfuck that is the last six seasons of Game of Thrones. Daenerys speaks of spokes on a wheel, which alludes to the ultimate pointlessness of these petty fights for power. The sigils crack and crumble to dust, and we zoom out to show the one war that matters, the real enemy, looking like a blue-eyed Sauron on the screen, the Others the White Walkers and their army of the dead, marching from beyond the wall to destroy everyone, no matter their sigil. There are just two short seasons left in Game of Thrones, and shit is rapidly getting real. Once separate plotlines are crashing together, major characters are dropping like flies, new revelations are solving old mysteries, 
This seventh season of the show should be spectacular. We'll speculate in more detail when more trailers and stuff come out, but for now, check out our other videos. There are summaries, detailed analyses of theories and characters, and videos on every episode of Thrones Season 6. There'll be a similar series for Season 7. Also, AltShiftX now has some side channels, including AltShiftZZZ, where I read long, boring texts, including fairy tales, Bible verses, and 18th century erotica, And there's also Alt Swift X, featuring Game of Thrones Abridged, where I give a loose reading of the Game of Thrones books. There's more of that coming soon. If any of this sounds good to you, there are links to these channels in the description. Thank you to the translators, who have been translating the captions of Alt Shift X videos so that people can enjoy them in other languages. I can't thank you all individually, or properly pronounce your names, but Kata Thieleman, Philippe Garcia, Veronica Latch, your work is very much appreciated. If you'd like to contribute translated captions, there's a link to a guide to do it in the description. Finally, thank you to the patrons who make AltShiftX possible, including Jason A. Diegmuller, Vineyard Dog, David Howe, Lightcraft Miniature Studios, Dominika Sikorska, Stephanie Nasty, Paul Barry, Joseph Winfield, Jennifer Riley, and Sir Tomato of Tomatistan. Cheers.